And if I told you once, I ain't gonna tell you twice. Salute all my real ones. Tell up, bro. We got men are receiving alimony and their ex-wives are upset about it. They should be, cause that's crazy. Like, yo, know, if I if I ever become ruler of the world, which I wouldn't want to rule the world, but if I did, I'm banning alimony. Like, once it's over, it's over. Yeah, I split ways and just go on y'all merry ways. I feel like this is a continuation of just another video that I reacted to. Um, but yeah, we gonna get straight to it. Like button, subscribe button, notification bell, press those. Let's go. Women are paying support. Um, like men have been doing for ages. Um, the difference is, um, culturally, it's very difficult for women to sort of accept the notion that they have to pay. I think with all the good things have come these responsibilities, and you can't get rid of them. The issue is they're... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, you can. Yo, me, yo, t I'll tell a chick, yo, you gonna be my girl for, you know what I'm saying? We could, we could live and die together, you, but you'll always be my girl. I'm never, I never want a wife, she, right? She, like, women should say the same thing, especially women that is out here making bread, because there's more women than ever that are making mad money. Yo, no marriage. And for all of y'all that think that prenups work, you better go look at what happened with Dr. Dre. I'm cool, like... You know what I'm saying? I'm not working hard, you know what I'm saying? Putting work in, like, for example, right now, like, I work a regular job, and when I come home, I'm doing this. I ain't doing all that, trying to build up what I got for someone that isn't even with me helping to build. Because it's one thing to say, yo, this person helped you build this company up. They're old, you know what I'm saying? Like, that makes sense. But you ain't just gonna come in later in life after I've built everything up, you know what I'm saying? And just to say, yo, because we, we did whatever or whatever in bed, all of a sudden you deserve half of what I got. Like, nah, you ain't, you came, you came, you was living in your mom's crib, you gonna go back to your mom's crib. Matter of fact, while we together, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna help you level up. If you ain't level yourself up during the time that we was together, that's not my fault, cause you won't got to drive. Crazy to me. Their moms. And just to be clear, cause I wanna be clear, this applies to men and women, like, Equally, word. Never had to pay support, if, if even if there was a divorce, because the moms probably didn't work. Their grandparents, uh, their grandmother never, never had to pay anything. So culturally, it's been very difficult for women to sort of get into the notion that they're now the same as men and that the laws are gender neutral. I think that we are entering a brand new era. And the name of this generation for professional women around the world should be, in call, should be entitled Payable to My Ex-Husband. Because so many women don't recognize their earnings potential. So I don't think the antenna is as highly raised for women as it should be. So in some instances, you're actually paying him, your ex-husband, more than you're making. To make these payments, I have tripled the mortgage on my house. I've liquidated all my assets in the house. I've had to liquidate my retirement fund and stocks. I've pretty much liquidated um, to pay alimony. And from 96 to 98, I pretty much uh, paid my husband more than I made. It's justice, okay? I believe that, hey, you want to end the marriage and we work out a deal. Um, you got to abide by the deal, you know, what we had agreed upon. And um, I need that money for investments. I got to start a whole new life now at 52 years old. To get this. That's crazy, dog. You want to invest, bro? Get yourself a job, my G. But, you know, uh, like, I, I know a lot of people's going to be like, well, men been paying since forever, this, that, the third, and it's about damn time, you know, women women are forced to, to deal with the same. I, pro, okay, fine. What I'm just talking about moving forward, <laughs> I cannot say this enough, moving forward, if you make bread, you don't want to risk half your bread 
knowing that prenups is getting thrown out the window, don't get married. And I know there's a lot of people that are probably religious, that are probably like, nah, you know, marriage is an institution of special, especially for people that are religious, I respect it. But it's like, you know, and then and then you see clips of of specifically like older white dudes that tend to be conservative are like, well, you know, if 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 she's gonna be able to take half, so what? Man up, like that's stupid. Like, what kind of person would work for work that hard? Hard, like when I'm not talking about trust fund babies, but what kind of person would work hard and w would allow themselves to enter a a, a situation where they the other person can get half of their stuff if they break the contract like that just doesn't make sense logically like i'm not doing that word um but you know it is what it is to each their own i'm just the guy on the internet y'all don't gotta listen to me if y'all don't want to but guess what i really want to see you do good i'm talking about you i want to see you do good so you might want to listen to me but hey you don't got to i'm gonna leave it there my name is Rain. Catch you on the flip side. RCP salute. Wait for it. Dab on him.